on some fucking crazy kind shit. Shit that you can't get anymore today. You gotta pay like three or four times that just to get fucked up like that these days, you know? But uh, my boy Slim, he was all about that shit. You know what I'm saying? Except he was never really a paying customer type, if you will, you know? So I've never seen that dude more happy than when he was ripping someone off, you know? He'd be down on the corner every single day and, you know, holding someone up, shaking him down, whatever. The knife box cutter, whatever the fuck he had. If he had a gun, he'd love it, but he didn't. And, uh, yeah, you know, there was never, um, never like a rhyme or reason to it or anything, you know? Just he couldn't take no for an answer. He just had to do it. Couldn't really wait, no patience, nothing like that. And, uh, you know, when you're like that, it's just you and the needle, you know? But, uh, Slim, Slim ain't about the needle anymore. He's, uh, he's higher than all of us now. He's on some of that shit that we're all looking for these days. Thank you for sharing, Kenny. We remind ourselves every day of the choices that we've made, and it never gets any easier living with these choices. All we can do is move forward. We have a new member joining us tonight. His name is David. Please welcome David. Hi, David. Hey, David. What's up? Hey, guys. I'm, uh, I'm sure a lot of you grew up around here. Not really anything I could say that would surprise anybody. I don't exactly get a lot of variety down on Fairmont, am I right? <laughs> I mean, growing up, I was a moron. I was an idiot. Teacher's worst nightmare. You know, never really paying attention, always messing around. Like the teacher's trying to start an art lesson, I'm just hawking Play-Doh and clay right at the chalkboard. It's like, Picasso, I'm Vincent Van Gogh. <laughs> Come on, it was funny. I mean, guess I'm not really sitting in a room full of teacher's pets. So, I'm sure plenty of you can relate. It's a bad kid, you know, I'll admit it. I never really knew what the whole big deal was with all those famous artists. Like, it's just a painting, it's just a picture. You know, can el you know who else can throw paint on a piece of paper? Fucking three-year-olds. <laughs> Now I'm starting to see, like, the uglier the better. So, it's the face I got at home. Nothing special, really. I mean, it's got a few bumps and ridges, some chips from paint. I always wondered, yo, who would make a vase like that? Like, you can fix it and mold it, like, when it's, when you're making it, so. Why not fix the thing, make sure it doesn't look like shit, you know? Wonder if they did that on purpose. And if they did, I just can't stop thinking. Why? That uh same vase fell off the mantle when we had people over one time, just fell right over, shattered in like a million pieces right on the floor. And I look up at all the people and no one did a goddamn thing. Everybody just sat there and stared. I'm like Grab a broom, squat down, pick up a piece, do, do something. Nope, people get, just kept texting on their phone, just drinking, eating, carrying on with their merry little fucking lives. Now I'm sitting there, and I'm thinking, great. Do I know how to fix vases? No, <laughs> hell no. But I don't see anybody else picking up the vase, so I guess I'm gonna. Eventually, after some work, that face is going to be right on top of the mantle, right there sitting pretty, right where it used to be. Not because of the people who sat there and stared and did fucking nothing, but because of one person. You know who that person is? Me. Until this day, that face is still up there. That face is still here. <laughs> 